recognize the student students as we did yesterday. You can come up on either side and uh, receive your award. Father Kim will be giving you an award to you. Good morning. We're going to begin with our pray and to do with and thank you, parents and community, for coming to support your kids. Great work. Good job raising those children. For achievement. The one person who is on the achievement award for third grade is Monday Mills.
was out and um, Peyton knew how to um, set up the smart camera, get everything loaded, help with the class. So she literally helped run and get things going for the virtual students at home and for um, the teacher to pipe in information. So it was great. So thank you so much for sharing that knowledge and helping out. I need Lorelai Sullivan to come forward. Lorelai is receiving the Principal's Award. She works well with other people. She is incredibly patient with her classmates when learning new skills and working in groups. She is a delight to be around and to teach in the classroom. Principal's Award, Lorelai, congratulations. The following students will come forward and receive their honor roll. We'll begin with second honors. We have um, Alexa Hostat coming forward. Second honors. Logan Lovitz. Nathan Napini. Lorelai Sullivan. Nathaniel Campbell. Some of these are virtual students, so you won't be seeing them but they um, participated well and have, have done a good job receiving this recognition. Milagros Cambera. Madeline Hayes. Aiden Stewart. Did an excellent job reading today. Anthony Yu. Those are our second honor award recipients. So, our straight A students, I honors Derek Cervantes and David Beaton, and they are two virtual students. So, congratulations. You may be seated. We need Ms. Radon to come forward for awards. She is our fifth grade instructor. Please come forward. Max Bassett. 
Jada Lebeau. Reed Moore. Bill Sanner. Veronica Irving. Cameron Wood. These students, these students are receiving high honors. My apologies. Highest honors. That's a lot of hard preface. That's a lot of hard work there. Second honors, Lauren Salazar. Congratulations, fifth grade class. God bless you. Need Mr. McQuilkin to come forward. Achievement is measured in so many different ways. I like to sometimes um, just uh, extol the virtues of great academic work, but when you combine that with just a deep understanding and knowledge of the subject area and the ability to express that almost as a grown-up, uh, that's a very impressive attribute. And my achievement award is going to Addison Worth. It's amazing what Addison is able to do. She can actually uh, express uh, her knowledge on any topic in the manner that an adult might be able to instruct it. She really takes it in and can repeat it with just the, you know, the deepest understanding and appreciation of what's been instructed. So congratulations, Addison. My conduct board goes to a virtual student who is not here today, which is unfortunate, and that's Litsy Valenzuela. She's a brand new student here at St. Michael's, and um, she's not here, she's at home. Uh, hopefully she's watching today, but she's been a brilliant young little girl, and she's new to our school. You know how hard it is to fit in when you're new, but Litsy's done a magnificent job of doing that, so congratulations to Litsy. <laughs> I've been here for 25 years. I've talked about citizenship being uh, a student who's a role model for the rest of us. Um, I'm going to take a slightly different slant this time. I have a student this year who's going to be my citizenship award winner who is a role model but in a different way. Enthusiastic, fun, uh, absolutely smiling at everything that I do or we do. Um, just never, never uh, not laughing and enjoying every minute of being in school and making it a great environment for the rest of us. It's quite a rambunctious class. And the winner is, or the awardee rather, is Allison Schaefer. If she didn't have her mask on, there would be a giant smile. Congratulations to the awardees. When Mr. McCoken was talking about the um, about Allison, I was like, wait a minute, did, did I make it? Did we get the same student? Because I thought the qualities that were being um, extolled were describing the principal student, the student that's receiving the principal's award. I would like Anthony Cabrera to come forward, please. This young man is energetic, energetic, helpful, he's hardworking and kind. He is polite and works well on all of the projects, and he always tries to do his best in all things. He's a great classmate and a wonderful model 
of a student at St. Michael's School. Congratulations, Anthony. So we have um, fourth grade honor roll, second honor. Students come forward, please. Addison Worth. Congratulations. You may be seated. We thank you, O oh Lord, for all of our blessings. And most particularly, we thank the Lord for all of you. You make what we do at St. Michael's School possible. Thank you so much for giving up your time and coming. Thank you for entrusting us with your children. They are our biggest asset and our most wonderful blessing. We will end today's award ceremony with a round of applause for all of your accomplishments. <laughs> if your loved ones were unable to attend, um, it will be um, virtually uh, projected on the parish website, Facebook. Uh, Teresa takes the recording we're making and put it on the school website. So, so people that were unable to watch will be able to see, and they will be able to see the children get their awards if they weren't able to be here. So we missed a few faces today. So thank you so much for coming. Please genuflect. We adore.